Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nekopara Volume 3. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye in the top of the video to watch the previous episodes get caught up. I have no idea. Cinnamon. Exactly! No one knows! Aww. Do they? I actually don't know. Do they? Really? Why would you stretch out their legs? Huh. Huh? Um... Oh, <laughs> I just I just noticed cinnamon just holding that cup now. Ninety-five degrees Celsius. Wait, hold on. Isn't a hundred degrees Celsius uh, like boiling? I I don't I don't know the um I know Fahrenheit. I, all I know is that zero is uh freezing, a hundred is boiling. That's all I know. What's 95? Well, when you say hot things, you mean like burning hot as in spicy or like temperature-wise burning? That's the difference. I I don't I don't think this is the uh, the the heat you're talking about. I think you're talking about spiciness. Oh oh my! She's thinking something lewd. Uh oh. I like how Cinnamon's tail is just wagging now. Wow, Ma Maple is just out of it. Oh, this isn't good. Look, everyone's just surprised. Uh, y yes, Chocola. Oh, oh. It's a spiciness, not not how uh you know hot it is. I I don't I don't think that's draw. I think that's all the tea. ないわね。そうなるに決まってるじゃない。いくらお人よしの箇所でも店の商品おもちゃにしてたら首にされるわよ。Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. 
The shop is pretty crazy despite the lack of customers. Yeah. I mean, with all that going on. Ma Maple, are you okay? Is everything okay? Um... Oh, Mapo, are you on your break? Hi, I'm Oh. Her reply is cold and deliberate. Yeah, something's not right. A nail file and nail polish rest on the table. Are you doing your nails? Oh? But your nails look fine. Oh. Maple raises her hand to examine her nails as she speaks. I guess that's just a thing cat girls do. Um. Maybe, maybe not just cat girls. It's like she's sharpening her nails because she's angry or something. Oh, oh, that. Oh. Well, I think you should back away then. As I ponder the mysterious of these cat girls, I fill a kettle with hot water and bring out the tea leaves. So, you've been kind of zoning out a lot lately. Is anything wrong? What do you mean? Well, I'm worried anyway. Because, uh, yeah, everyone's worried. I don't believe you. Hmm. Now what do I do? I feel like she's been acting strange ever since we came back from the amusement park. Oh no, that's no good. But what am I supposed to do if she won't talk to me about it? Yeah, that's a tough thing. That's a toughie right there. It's a it that's a tough choice. <sighs> yes? Hmm. Silence. I'm not much of a talker in the first place, but if she's upset about something, I can't just leave her alone. You're right. Is she going to quit? With a troubled mind, I begin preparing the tea leaves I just brought out. Yes? I turn to her. Oh! Oh! She's thinking about... About singing. She wants to follow her dreams as a singer, right? That, that's what I'm getting at here. She stares at her now perfectly manicured and polished fingers. Zoning out again. Her voice was flat and emotionless. Why? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. What I wanted to do? She stares at me, her gaze unassuming. Why, huh? Hmm. Well, a lot of reasons. Um, that's not it. She's not pursuing it. Instead, just idly resting her chin on one hand while fiddling with her phone with the other. Huh. She's very sophisticated. So why did she ask that question then? I honestly have no idea what she's thinking. She must have had something in mind, but... Yes? Do I like cat girls? I know what you meant. I mean, yeah, I do, but... Huh? Excuse me? What the hell is she getting at, bringing up something like that? 
I have absolutely no clue what her aim is with this. Yes? No, that's not it at all. I never expect to have cat girls as my partners. Wait, so hold on. So what would happen if Kasho actually did get a girlfriend? What would... Like... What, is like everyone okay now? Like... Is e like everyone... Are all the girls in the world okay with just like... Their boyfriend or fiance just like having cat panions? Huh. Eh. <laughs> I like how Zuki is the one just like eh. Much less four of them, but I keep that part to myself. Each of them has their own charms though, right? There's no way I could rank them. Are you sure? Everyone seems to be fine with it too, so... I groan in bewilderment. Huh? Yeah, huh? Oh. What? Oh, that's... I mean, I guess so. Eva puts her phone back in her pocket and stands up. Are you okay? I'm confuzzled. Okay, bye. That maple. What's with her? She's leaving and I'm still as confused as when this all started. Dumbfounded, I stare at Maple's back as she exits the room. Oh, hi. Oh, Cinnamon. Is Maple relieving you? That was fast. Cinnamon gently lowers herself down onto the sofa. I pour some hot water from the kettle and place a cup of black tea in front of Cinnamon. Oh wait, we wasn't that for um for Maple? I guess she just left without uh her tea. Huh? Oh, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I wanted some tea too. I was going to have extra anyway, even if you hadn't come along. She nods to me smiling. The two of us quietly begin to sip our tea. Um are you sure she she's gonna sip her tea? I mean, she she just showed us like, you know, her technique of uh, of you know having hot stuff in her mouth. Then we return our cups to their saucers, each one making a little clack as we set them down. Now Cinnamon is sighing. What's wrong? I never hear you sighing. It was what, all jiggly? Uh-huh. Come on, you think I'm gonna buy that? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. It seems like, um... It seems like... Cinnamon and uh, Mabe are having some some stuff happening and going on around. So uh, we will find out in the next episode what is going on. And uh, and does Cinnamon actually like hot stuff in her mouth? Who knows? If you guys enjoyed this episode of Neko Para Volume 3, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!